Welcome to Mordor. Yeah, we'll just go with that, I guess. <laughs> the first level of Super Mario RPG. Wait. So yeah, Lava World. So yeah, we're almost done. Yeah, we're almost done. Oh yeah, I forgot this level, I forgot this level has an advancing level of Doom. Yeah, so this is going to be interesting, because I don't remember the Lava World too much in this game, but um, I do know that it has a few um, similarities to the DS one. Those, the falling molten rocks are ripped right from the DS game, and they were really annoying for some star coins, I remember. So, hopefully that's not so much the case in this game, but we'll see. This is also probably the worst level for the for multiplayer. Yeah, when there's like... Uh, so the... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like when when there's like less oh. l l l wiggle room for four players, it just gets stupid. The level where Matt just bubbled himself and ruined everyone's day. <laughs> Sounds about oh. right. Oh, the SCB played for like so, like so many years ago. That's hilarious. There's nothing out there, right? I, I remember John did the same thing in Mario Wii once for for uh, not for TRG though, like the, like Pro Don John. Mm. Like he 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 jumped, he was right at the flagpole, like half a second away from it, bubble. Uh, wow. Yeah, I think this is the second one. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, Screw your game. That's that oh. is, that's. That was me. God. I, I, I oh, love wow. how Mario came again. Ah! <laughs> God, I've, re I've done really bad on the items this playthrough. So, uh. Oh, God. Alright, let's we'll see. How is the final part? Why does Battle Stadium literally look like Mordor? Final <laughs> World and Mario game? Okay, oh, I'll have to get one. Final worlds and Mario games. Uh, what, like, um, are we just gonna go buy them one at a time, or, like, what our favorites are? Like, how are we well, doing that? I favorites. guess we'll we're not looking at all of them. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, um, let's see what to do. Um, um, okay, 2D or 3D, first off? 3D. First off I... Okay. What? 2D? 3 games. In that case, I really do like, um, I can tell you like one of my least favorite ones is the final world in Mario 3. Um, yeah, I, I always thought the final world in that game was kind of bullcrap. I don't know, like the, the tank, tank level specifically, I think was just like massive difficulty spikes. This level really it would be an absolute nightmare for multiplayer. Yeah. Um, you wanna like give me some more room, please? <laughs> I see that enough. I don't know. If... Okay. She's the. I see a star coin over there, so I don't know if I want to go in there yet. Oh, no. Well, they say. Thanks. That was very nice. You're welcome. Um. Wait, why do you have- wait, I'm looking, I'm looking at his list, and it says the Smash Mansion's prevalence in fanfiction. Oh yeah, uh, that was- <laughs> uh, me and Scrappy were just kind of talking about Smash cr uh, crap for, um- Oh, wasn't that stream about the other day? Um, I don't remember when it happened. I think it was just- we were just kind of talking about things, and, uh, I think what happened is like, we were- t okay, I'm just gonna kind of rush this one. Oh uh, yeah, there we go. Um, we were talking about how, um, like, what is the Smash, what is the Smash Bros. continuity compared to everything else, and we basically just came to the conclusion that it's just its own timeline altogether. Oh, oh, the Smash Mansion is like a very common fantasy thing. Yeah, yeah, so, and there's like how the Smash Mansion is like just <laughs> an agreed setup uh, by like just fanfic authors, really. Well, it's so easy to work with. Yeah, and then we <laughs> there's like the car, this castle or something in 
Ultimate Home Run Contest, and we just joked that that's the Smash Mansion. <laughs> so it's pretty good. That's, that's fair enough. Anyway, going back to the Mario the 2D stuff. Um, I like I did like Bowser Bowser's World and In World. Like the Final Castle was also pretty cool of like how you can uh, like basically choose what kind of obstacles to go through. Yeah, they do the same thing in Yoshi's Island too. I think. Yeah, in DS they did. Yeah, you, which were maybe you had with you. Also, there's a secret exit here. Yeah, you go down a different path. Um. Yeah, in terms of like, wonder, I'm trying to. Fi I don't remember the two D. I wonder if I was just used to this kind of thing. <laughs> just like probably. Which is like, do fireballs normally land on his house? <laughs> There's nothing down here, right? I'm gonna assume there's a small. Well, why would he point? There's, that, there's a lot of open room down there. Yeah, I don't know if I want to trust that though. I'm dying. Hey, uh, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm. It, I feel like the camera would pan down. Yeah. Okay. That would. It would just be sure. Yeah. I really like this background though. It looks really impressive for the way, actually. Like the um, lava falls and all that. New, I, I forgot that this game had like a second, more sinister underground theme. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ah! And this is like the uh, oh. probably the most uh, um, unique cave level in the game because of it. Like this looks really cool, uh, admittedly. Uh, I'm, tr I'm trying to think though, because uh, the 2D final love worlds or whatever kind of blend together for me. I don't really remember a lot of them offhand. I don't know if you want to like, I don't know if you want to them are just... Fire. Yeah. I mean, it, it's thematically yeah, appropriate, but... Yeah. yeah once we hit yeah, once we start talking about the 3D games, Ooh. it's a lot easier to talk into the Oh, yeah, I, I can recall the, the 3D ones, like, easily, but, like... I think there's a something down there behind... Even Mario 64 uses Fireland, basically. Yeah. Well, sort of, well, sort of, although the final level, though, is still, um, is in the sky. Yeah, I, I will say that uh, out of all the 3D games, 64 probably has the weakest, or, like, the least, least interesting final level, because it just feels like another Bowser stage, which you've already done two up to that point, so it doesn't feel quite that special, but... Uh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I Yeah, I, I need... I, 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 yeah, the thing looks suspicious, so... Uh, I feel like the star coin's in here I feel somewhere. Like it's gonna be... Yeah, I could have been spike bubbling at us quickly. Yeah. Okay. Is it above us? Okay, is it up here? No. Maybe there's multiple coin blocks in the path. Maybe. Oh! Oh, Jesus! I feel like the star coin's in here, but I don't know. Hmm, it might just be a bonus room. Maybe. Oh, well, this is the way out then. Yeah. Yeah, boy! Um, it, again, going back to the 3D stuff though, like, um, Sunshine Inc. It was flat out in a volcano. Yeah, Sunshine's, I, I, I actually really like, uh, Sunshine's one, like, just thematically. Oh, I can see, like, the worst level coming up in the main path. <laughs> Alright. Let's, let's, let's get the main entrance first, or yep. main exit. Hopefully we run um, into the star coin. Yeah. Um, what were, what were the exact names of the ones in Galaxy 1 and 2? Uh, the level names? Is it like Lava Lava Keep? Um... No, that's... No, that, no that's three. No, that's the three. It's three world. Uh, the final stages were like Galaxy Reactor and Galaxy Generator, I think. But those were some really cool ones. Like how they... Integrate a lot of different uh, themes and 
uh, mechanics you've seen throughout the game. You guys still there? Okay. You're back, yeah. Okay. Okay, it wouldn't be uh wouldn't be a recording without 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 you without your internet dying. Yeah, well, so like whenever I wanna do something, I swear like the internet just craps out. Uh, cause like um uh, me and Scrappy Nick Xavier were watching Love of Sunshine a few days ago and my internet decided to just kinda die for like ten minutes, so that was pretty good. Yeah. Anyways, Anyways, what were we talking about? Gal I think it was Galaxy Reactor and Galaxy Generator. Yeah, uh, I was talking about uh, the uh, Galaxy, the final Galaxy series. I don't know if you guys heard that. You cut as soon as, as soon as you said Galaxy Gener er, Ge Generator, you, you died. Okay, no, I was saying how I liked how those stages uh, implemented stuff you've seen throughout the game, and like, oh, thanks. <laughs> Act as like acted as like a final challenge, uh, with all these different game mechanics you've learned and whatnot. I thought they were really well designed. Yeah, yeah even even Galaxy 2's um add Yoshi in for the last bit. Yeah. And Galaxy the Galaxy Generator in Galaxy 2, the music in that place is amazing, like it's almost oh, yeah. like like <sighs> Bowser does not deserve this kind of music. Yeah, it's like scarily epic for a Bowser stage. Although I'd still argue that my favorite, um, like, one of my favorite final Bowser themes is probably still Lava Lake, Lava, Lava, uh, the, the Lava Lake Keep from World, City World. Um, I like... Okay, that's weird, because, uh, uh, I... It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not hey, what, well, that's a, I'm thinking of a song right now, but I, I really do like World Bowser, rather. Yeah, because this thing, interesting, because, like, Lava Lake Keep... Uh, like, I judge the standard Bowser levels and the final Bowser levels differently, so... Oh, right, I'm... right. I think I may have missed them, misspoke them. I meant, I meant someone just talk about World Bowser as a whole, because I like uh, how... I, li I like how it jukes you, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. You think it's the last yeah, world. Does, yeah, it does, yeah, it does World Castle, and it's, and it's um, all lava and all that, you think? Yeah. yeah but then... But nope, but nope, World Bowser. Yeah, that, that was, yeah, I like that. Because, like, it, it gives you suspicion right away, because it's just like, this is just World 7, this can't be right. <laughs> and I mean, well, Galaxy 2 only has seven worlds, as you count World S, but still. Your world is structured more like a 2D game, so it can, yeah. it can get away with fooling you. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh god, yeah. that was really close. My ah! yeah, my jump almost didn't register. I was gonna say it was like it was like your jump almost got eaten. This is a really cool stage though. Uh, World A, uh, World Seven and World A, uh, I think th they both have like really solid levels overall, for the most part. They just fun to screw around with in the multiplayer mode. Yeah. Huh? You didn't hear me, that's Jason. Probably, that's probably what, I, I'm here, sorry. I, I, this card's probably that long. I think it's probably that long just because of multiplayer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. I know that it's hilarious because I think in Luigi U, uh, this bone coaster thing is like in World 1 in <laughs> that game. <laughs> so, yeah. I that think probably is going to be interesting. It, think go huh, wait, what? I think you like stomp on it points. Mm. Probably. I don't Good. really have a reason to do that though. Like a great oh my attraction. God. It's the best Super Nintendo world. Yeah. Dueling Dragon. Nice. It's like Mario's final smash by his bones. And not sucky.
<sighs> so that's the final worship level, but we're not going to do that for a while. You still gotta go around. <laughs> yep. So what is this? How do you feel about hmm. the final level in the in 3D world, the one that has like Meowser? Um. I'm not I like the final battle itself. I don't really remember the stage itself too well offhand. I, I, I think you want to rain a lot of vertical. Stuff. I remember really liking it visually. I, I, can we have more like. I'm not even trying to describe that aesthetic. Casino? It's like, not really casino, it's like amusement park. Yeah. Yeah, give us more um, neon amusement park levels. That is interesting because that felt very Sonic y to me. Yeah, I could not see it. Wait, what? Because instead, we need more carnival levels and games. Yeah, that's true. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um... Hmm. I'm trying to fit um, in terms of, like... Like, themes, or, like, music themes... Uh, would you guys say are uh, your favorite, like, final, or like, just, oh god, Bowser stages? Like, final or mid Bowser stage or whatever? It's like, for themes, um, yeah. basic answer, but any Bowser theme from Mario 64, that's... I associate, that's Bowser's theme to me. Yeah, uh, Bowser's Road is just always gonna be the... That, that, that's always gonna be, like, the... Let Bowser level theme for me. Um, like it just works. I'm back. I'm, I'm, are we still talking about the Bowser theme in 3D World? Uh, I'm just. I was asking about like Bowser level music tracks specifically. Bowser always gets the best songs. Yeah, he does get some pretty good tracks. Like uh. Almost too, too epic at points. Stop. Stop. For a 10 second battle. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the final boss team in Galaxy 2 is like one of the best things ever. <laughs> yeah. It's like. Yeah, Bowser yeah. doesn't deserve such an easy fight. Yeah, it's a shame. He when also gets. About, um, he also like, gets. Um, Bowser, I can't remember the bow I can't remember the theme that well in Odyssey, but goddamn, I love the fight itself. Yeah, that was that is probably my favorite flat like general like Bowser fight in the series, but Does yeah, because it's it's like it's it's still relatively easy, but he, but but he like he's got changing things up. Yeah. Especially especially on the last bit where he actually kind of gives you a little surprise. One thing I like about Od Odyssey and Galaxy 1's fight specifically is that, um, they just feel like, like, no they, j they just feel like flat-out jewels, whereas, like, a lot of the other games are basically avoid- oh, hi. Avoid Bowser's attacks until you can throw him into a bomb or, like, uh, you can ground pound the meteorites back at him and stuff like that. So it's like- <laughs> Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> um, I like that Galaxy 1 and Odyssey felt more like you were just fighting him head on, in that sense. I think we're just trying to go out one of these guys. Yeah, at least try to. Mm. Yeah! Okay. Got mushrooms now. Yay. Okay. Uh, um, when, when we were discussing, I guess, hopes and dreams for the next 3D Mario, I inadvertently spoiled oh. something. What? And um. 
was just saying that I accidentally spoiled a portion of Odyssey when we were discussing it. Uh, discussing like just hopes and dreams for the next 3D Mario. I won't say what just for those who actually don't know somehow, but. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, yeah, I know what you're talking uh, about. I, I apologize for that. It's been three years so far. I don't right? care how old it is, I'm the one who's always going on about spoiler courtesy, so I'll take the hell. Yeah, I mean. I'm, although, I'll, to be honest, I've never surpassed that, that limit. I've never surpassed the safety line. Uh, in, in, it's a weird thing, because it's like. Um, no matter, like, is she... Yeah, thanks. <laughs> um... Well, they... Oh, there's one I need to start there. Yeah. Um... There's a lot over there, so... Because it's like, if you don't... Grass is below you. If you don't say something, uh, there's usually someone that's gonna be up your rear about it. Oh, well, to be honest, I think as significant as it is, I still think there's a difference between, like, 2D platform, a 3D platformer versus something like Xenoblade Chronicles. It well, it depends though, because game there's gameplay spoilers are a thing as well, and some people would prefer to be surprised about certain things. Let me just make one thing clear: I am still somehow, somewhat unspoiled on Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy VII's plot. Oh wow! Well, somehow wow. Got partially unspoiled for like 20 years. Dang, that is impressive. Oh, some basic things because of mere pop cultural osmosis, but mm -hmm. there are still plot twists in that game that I do not know about. Well, I've seen Clement's video, so I know more or less the, the general plot. I haven't seen enough of the plot, to be honest, although I just know the big things, you know what I mean? Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're hard to, uh... Things that are, like, impossible to not know about. Yeah. Uh, but it's like, it's interesting. I don't know. Uh, from what I can tell, uh, from what I've heard, se Seven does seem to have a really interesting plot. We, I, I don't see many people actually talk about Seven's gameplay. Um, it's a fair point. From what I know, from what I know about Seven, I've only played for a little bit, but aim, but. I feel like, I think Final Fantasy VII's gameplay is just good. Hmm. Like, like, people, like, when people talk, like, people, you probably heard people, like, talk about Final Fantasy VIII. Um, I've heard people say, oh, wow, we missed one. Oh, uh, go on. Wait. We gotta go, we have to repeat this? We'll have to come back later. Yeah. But right, whatever. Um. About eight. It's like, it's, it's the people who mainly bash the gameplay part because of the drawing magic shit. I've also heard that, is it 8 where you can be like, the, the enemies like scale with you so you could beat the game at like level 1 and not have much of an issue or? I'm sure I... at level 1 but there is level scaling in that game. Hmm. I should really play the PS1 Final Fantasies. Yeah. I... I own Final Fantasy. I own seven and nine on um, PlayStation Store. Mm-hmm. I still give seven a, or a nine a high recommendation. This is a really cool. Before we go on more about Final Fantasy, this is a really cool boss though, because you don't usually fight Kamek himself in this in this series, and he like just. Kind of messes with you, teleporting everywhere and changing the platforms into enemies and whatnot. And he gets a a uh, new variant of this in the Wii U game. Uh, did she take more than three hits? I don't think so. Is up. She, yeah, he did. Kamek is awesome. That's why. Take four hits. He's immediately the most badass creature in the world. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's good. Back. It's good to. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Glenn. Glenn. Uh, I forgot what I was gonna say now. Actually. Uh, we were talking about Final Fantasy. Yeah. 
Uh, oh yeah, I've, I've heard because like I've never actually played A, but from what I've seen of it, I heard that the story is actually one of the one of the highest points. Hmm. Like it's, when I know it's a really really good story, it's just that all some there's just points in the gameplay that kind of get in the way. Yeah. I guess it also depends on how much like squall. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Um, from what I understand, like the. You know that butterfly thing in the credits of Kingdom Hearts 2 that comes out of uh, Squall's, like, letter or something? Uh, apparently that has to do with, like, a character from A. Hmm. Renoa? I've never known that. Yeah, like Renoa. the, yeah, well, probably. the female character, yeah. A Renoa? Probably, I don't know names. Um, it, it's all love and interest. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. But like, if you, if you just play Kingdom Pass like I have, you wouldn't know that! In Final Fantasy fans honestly get a little- Honestly, if anything, they don't get pandered to enough in Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, right? Mm. They get like- I mean, hell, we didn't They get like a Final handful of cameos. Yeah. I mean, hell, we didn't Final Fantasy representation in 3 until Remind. Yeah. I'm not, uh, I don't even play Kingdom Hearts, I'm not particularly happy about that. I understand it to a point because uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, they're finishing up like loads of their own plot points that they came up the, with the series itself, so I'd imagine- I can understand like including Final Fantasy elements would kind of make it more, even more of a mess, but- I've never stopped them before, Harry. I mean, true, but with Kingdom Hearts 1, uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 especially, I feel like having the Final Fantasy ca uh, cast in there probably were one of the big deciding factors of how the game sold really well. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, because like, you, you, they really clearly show like, Cloud and all that in the trailer. Yeah, because it's just like, this is just... Uh, and I know that people would buy Cloud. Yeah. They, so they wanted to... I, I don't like saying playing it safe for this, uh, for this, but um, they... Like... They wanted to make sure they knew what worked, basically. Kingdom Hearts 1 off... Was... Kingdom Hearts 1 off like it's a bit more of a ass in the sense that it's the first game, so they need, so they need to find what kick. Yeah, yeah. They didn't even know if it was gonna be successful, so... If a... if a triple-A RPG right? with Mickey... Yes. Hmm? Triple-A RPG, RPG with Mickey Mouse. Mouse couldn't sell on its own, then... Maybe it shouldn't have been made. <laughs> I mean, Mickey's only in for like one scene in that game. Okay, where Why is this you, thing? Uh, giving, Square re giving Square a reason to put me in the box art. <laughs> Revive A in a nutshell. Yeah. Gosh. No, no. Okay, I think it's like this. It looks like Yep. Ah, oh, that's clever. Yeah, okay. I. Yeah, because the, those blocks are different. Gosh. Oh, God. Oh, we gotta go around this room unless we wanna just tank the head and run. Oh god. Oh, oh god. Now we got this. Yeah, okay. Run! Why are you hot? Why are you very hot? <laughs> oh man. Isn't this oh, also god. a longer game, actually? Longer, like longer what? I think this is not have the most levels in, 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 in of any world. Uh, I don't know about that. Probably. Normal levels and then like... Well, because I think the world, including, including extra levels, has like seven or eight. Mm -hmm. like seven normal, like quote-unquote normal numbered levels. Yeah, um... I know... Uh, I know the DS game specifically has like... 50 billion castles in World 8. <laughs> so that's pretty good. So he's uh, tapping imagine into his. Imagine, imagine a chemic song next, right next to that uh, the bomb. Yeah. 
just gonna love how he's tapping into his inner Ganon from the cartoons. With, uh, with oh, the... He, oh, it was only free hits, okay? He's like, right. yeah. <laughs> I can't uh. count. To be fair, I thought it was four too. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a shame because uh, Kamek um, kind of shows that, like, if. If the couplings weren't also similar, I didn't mean to go back in there. Um, if, if the if the couplings weren't also also similar, um, we could have could have had like some really diverse bosses in this game. Because in New Super Mario Bros. DS, besides Bowser Jr., the bosses were actually pretty varied in that game. Yes, but one, oh, one of those but one of those bosses was literally a giant Goomba. I mean, oh boy, this level. I mean, true, but you take the good with the bad. I don't think all of the bosses were home runs, but at least they tried. Um, so, yeah, this level. Time for the worst. One of the worst world levels in the game. Yeah, th this level sucks because it's uh, a dark level, which is already kind of a pain in the neck, as we've seen before. But it's in also underwater, and uh, all this crap at you, and it's just, yeah, thanks, game. I love you too. Hey, you bought the game. I mean, it's weird. Um, you got the in that case, well, too bad. This game is weird to me because I don't know. If, hmm. Actually, no, I'll say that for final thoughts. Um, you know, um, one thing I guess we can talk about is that me and Jason actually watched the Mario Wii uh, critique video, which. Uh, gave me a lot more insight on the game and like made me think more about f uh, stuff about it that I didn't really consider that much beforehand. Like the fact that the multiplayer probably is the cause of what makes a lot of this game feel so easy for the most part. Like when you get to, yeah, like when you get to like World Seven and Eight, it gets a bit more challenging and then there's like less wiggle room for um, mistakes and whatnot, but like, major majority of the time there's like wide open gaps, or like wide open spaces for just to accommodate for four players. Yeah, it like very, like very evident as, as like right before the, the end of the first level. Yeah. Because there's all those rolling hills and nothing in the way, it's clearly just for space for multiplayer. Yeah, which is fine in concept, but it's like when you... Uh, yeah, but I think I feel like um, Kirby, the Kirby games did a lot better. Yeah, definitely. And even like Mario U, I think did a lot did it a lot better. Like, obviously, it's been a year since I played that game, so my opinion might change when we play that one. But uh, I remember that game being uh, just a lot more generally challenging and doing a lot more with its open space than this game does. Well, good. And credit or credit is due. A, the team or whoever is in charge of doing these sub series had three years to practice this. True. True. Yeah. I mean, by that point, I'd I hope. Mean, you... Yeah. <laughs> they like Nintendo had been trying for like years to try and get simultaneous co-op in a Mario platformer, and mm. for a first attempt, this is honestly quite good. Yeah, all things considered, the, this could have been a lot worse. Um, it's just the the side effect is just the fact that like compared to a lot of other Mario games, it makes the single player experience feel a bit more st standard, I guess. Like I don't know. Like. Uh... Hmm. Yeah. Cause it's weird, like, it's weird cause I do really enjoy playing the game, but like, as a, when I think of it as a package, um, not too much of it stands out. It's weird. Oh boy. <laughs> but yeah, I, this is a, a level that exists. Say what you oh. were, say what you were about nine seven, but at least you can see. <laughs> hey, 
Jellyfish. Actually, I probably shouldn't kill those. I was going to say, it's probably not a good idea. Okay, I'm a little bit worried about the Star Coins though, because there's one there. Uh. Now we get. Oh! Dang it. Oh, I see how. And I still hate how Mario controls underwater in like any game. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, jeez! Oh, freaking! Oh! Green. Oh, come on. I think the best advice in these kind of levels is to stay as low to the ground as you can. Advice is the best advice is to get a second player to be your meat shield. <laughs> well, well, we might, we're probably gonna get Luigi at this rate. Oh, oh god. I, d I don't want, I don't want this level to be the one that. Breaks me. That kills, kills the sparkles? Yes. Otherwise, it's not 200%, dang it. LP ruined. Well, then we'll have to reload from the castle. <laughs> I don't actually care that much, but still. That would kind of suck. To be fair, this is the only level we get most for, so. Yeah. Ugh. <sighs> Man. Uh. Hmm. So, uh. Yeah, because, huh? Yeah, like, I was gonna talk about the last level of in Mar Honestly, but. Like, scra is it Scrappy Two Stages? So, so no, I couldn't hear you. Odyssey, Final World, can't talk about. Oh. Know, that's pretty much oh, okay. It. Wait, uh. Mm. Unless we like, if we put, if we have like a warning, I think it's fine. Like, it, I think it's fine as long as we don't just randomly spoil something out of nowhere. All right, then, Harry, future Harry, put a timestamp right here. Okay. okay. Uh. Or put Mario, a, okay. Peach got married at the end of Odyssey. It was amazing. No, no. <laughs> I love that about... ending, but. The stage, no, uh, the Moon Kingdom, like overall, um, I thought it was, I thought it was pretty cool. I liked the low gravity thing and the star bits being the purple coins were uh, a nice touch. Also, visually, it's just like one of the best things ever. Yeah, the fact you can just see like, the like, earth. I love how you can... Yeah. What? What's that? Hang on. I can't okay. see. Okay. Harry, time to end here. Alright. <laughs> Go down, Harry. Alright, please give me something good. I don't want a one-up right now. You kinda need it. I need- Well, I need- Can you, like, not do this? I need a mushroom is what I need. You get a mushroom. <laughs> How long is this level, though? Seriously. We haven't gotten a checkpoint yet. Ah! No, 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 no. Jeez! Okay, well, at least we got that. Just kind of ran into that. Take take what you can get. Okay, can I? Can I? Please come on way out. Please just end the level. Just run. Just run. Don't care. I'm just making sure there's no enemies. First try! No Luigi death stare for me. We're still on our way to getting go into getting shiny. <laughs> as long as we get to World 9 without getting it, getting that, we're good. Because World it's 9... Gotta, it's gotta be... It's gotta be Bowser to be good. Yeah, because World 9 does, doesn't have super good. Because that'll kind of ruin the point. Luigi's slowly walking through at 9 seconds. <laughs> oh god. You wanna like... Okay. Here's how, here's how you beat this level. Go slow. Yeah. <laughs> Luigi, Luigi just like, like flexes on everybody. Yeah. I remember this level being semi-challenging, so... I can't- I'm not- I can't look at the screen right now. What's going on? Uh, seesaw with bob bombs falling from the sky. Oh. Uh, this is actually kind of reminds me of the 
was it like special crown from 3D Land? Oh god. Yeah, I'm just gonna. It's not the underwater level that'll kill our run. It'll be, yeah, it'll be this one. <laughs> I hope not. Are we auto scrolling? Yes, we are. Oh, great. Ay, ay, ay. I'm trying to think, uh, are there any actual auto scrolling stages that are actually good? <laughs> I don't generally mind them on principle, so... Um... I can't stand them. <laughs> it's on how the auto scroller... No, I think auto scrollers are better with a justification. Yeah, if it's like lava rising um, or like... Something like that. Then... Oh, I got um, Ripsaw, Ripsaw Rage in, in DKC3. Yeah. Yeah, if you have- if there's oh, a the reason- The one with the fog going up the tree. Yeah, that one's a fun stage. But like, if there's a reason for that to be- for the stage to be auto-scrolling, then I'm fine with it. But like, if it's just arbitrary, just for the sake of it, it's just like... Why... why do you hate me? <laughs> I think about it, aren't there gonna be like, minecart levels auto-scrollers? In a way. Oh god. In that, in that, in that case, the best auto score I can think of, it, think of is um the, the, it's the sawmill thrill from DKC. From, from Jungle oh my god, I don't like this. I need to bounce off one of these crows to get this now. No! Come on. Come on. Ah! Uh, oh. Damn it. In the ass. That sucked. I was so close, dude. Uh, God, these power-ups are so bad for this. Oh, the pressure's on. Okay. Oh, great. Um... Yeah. Ow. I don't understand. Okay. <laughs> okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna say screw this and <laughs> use these. I just need uh some I, n I just need the extra hit points. Sorry. I still think about like a fun auto Mmm, yeah. Um, Don't you. Oh, you biscuit. How many deaths was that? Like three? Um, and how many triggers the Luigi? I think it's like eight. In consecutive in the same level, so. Yeah. All he has to do is just go to another level and die there. <laughs> I guess. What button will you lose or start going so I ah, but I'm speaking the truth. Alright. Eh. Carry up! <laughs> Don't like that. <laughs> No, no, no. Oh my god. Oh, well done, Harry. I don't know how I know. Yeah, I don't even know. I'll just... whatever. <laughs> Alright, can we not, like, dodge... avoid this star coin this time? And not get punked by... Dang it. I don't want to get punked by crows, come on. They're here to murder you. Ay, ay, ay. Go. There's so many of these things. Hoi! Alright, just. Whoa. Do, do, do. Yeah, I don't care. Just please, just be the end. Okay. Damn it. And then they just put like a random like Cooper.
Bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ninja. Ha, ha. Oh, okay, I think... I think this is the Lava Rising stage. This one's pretty cool, actually. Um, in terms of, like... Going back to, like, final stages... Uh... Are you gonna say something? Okay. Uh, going back to final stages, in 2D in the 2D game specifically... Nice. Uh, I didn't- I shouldn't have done- whatever. Uh... I like that Mario U is basically just a, uh... Bowser or Fried Peach's castle. Not too dissimilar to how in, was it, Ocarina and, and Twilight Princess where, like, Ganon turns Hyrule Castle into his own base. Right. Which is kind of cool in a way. Yep. We don't have time for those, don't we? Yeah, screw that. Um, I'm worried about- yeah, I was gonna say, what's up? Um... Where do we get that? I feel like that wants me the- uh, wait, I can- Can I'll I- jump. Yeah, I can- I'm gonna try that. Nice. Get out of here. Yeah. It's a shame because, like... Uh... These last few worlds have, like, some really cool ideas. And while those... I'm not I'm not gonna sit, sit here and say that, like, every level was generic. Because there, there were, like, a decent amount of cool things. But... Um... These last few worlds... Minus that underwater stage we played, um, have basically been really consistent in like their creativity and just uh, having really sort of level design. And um, I remember again, it'll be interesting to see how the, how it plays out when I when we play it. But I remember Mario U being a lot better with that. Like, I remember that the, the quality quality being a lot more consistent throughout the game, whereas this game kind of starts pretty generic and it doesn't really get really good until, like, the very end. Mm. I don't know what your guys' stance I is on that, but... I didn't think you're on too hard on this game, honestly. Uh, uh, I don't know. Honestly, I'd, uh, I'd say so. I'd, uh... It's been way too long, and I don't have a really interesting game like Mario U the Lock. Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, no. Um. My sister really wants me to play Pokemon with her for a bit. <laughs> I might be quiet for a bit. All right. Well, we got one last airship yeah. level, so. Uh. I do still like this game. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to get uh, misunderstood. So I like this game too. It's just that I'm not. It, it, like, I yeah. Like when I think of 2D games, like two, even 2D Mario games, uh, I don't really think about revisit, revisiting this one that often. But it's like. I mean, it's perfectly surfaceable. There's nothing inherently wrong with this game. Right. That's the thing with these games. They're all fundamentally fine games. Yeah. I, I guess... The main problem... I think the main problem... The main problem is, like... Everybody says you play one, you play them all, and that's, and that's the thing is... Hmm. They're not wrong. In some ways. New Mario 1 and New Mario U are so far apart. And I don't even mean that in a quality sense, I just mean in, like, they do things quite differently. So, like, that seems a bit overly reductive, like... Yeah, I don't, in I don't entirely agree that they're all the same, but I can understand where that criticism came from. Um... I think that's the tropes they've been using. Yeah. Mark my words, if these games had 
differentiate their arts more. So yeah, like, Wait, what? Well, I mean, people. Well, people say like Mario U should have been nothing but the uh, that 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 pastel level, or whatever it was. Mm, I mean, I know that yeah. I don't the necessarily. Has, like, that, that cool, cool, like, spot art, art style to it. Yeah, I don't necessarily agree that that should have been the whole game, but it should have been more than just like one or two levels. Right. Pretty World was got by just fine using the same Mario trope. It's all down to art design. Yeah, I think that's the main thing. Uh, the art design. I think art design is the main sticking point, because it's like, when I think Mario 1 to 3 to World, they all, even though they use, like, similar themes between them, uh, they, just the art style, oh, screw it, I'll just take the hurt, um, even- Like, it's part of it feels like you need to, like, it's like having a trope, but not every level be that trope. Yeah. I think the div- it's, it's a lot of things mixed together. Uh, one of them is that- um, the, the new Super Mario Bros. games always have the same eight themes, whereas like, uh, like Mario 3 and Mario World, like, the other games don't really, like, the other games don't always have the same exact themes every time, and even if they do, it doesn't feel as blatant as these games do, I find, and that mixed... That mixed in with the, uh... I'm trying to think about how to do this. Uh... Maybe, it's been, it's been that back. I think I got an idea. I'll take this with you. Yeah. Careful with that. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna make sure he doesn't wake up. Dang it! Hmm. Um, maybe it's a wall jump? Um... I feel like oh, I'm no, gonna... That Huh? I was gonna say that won't work because how are you gonna get out? Yeah, we would have just we would we, we would uh, just die. I don't know. I feel like it wants me to have a propeller. Right thing at time. Oh, oh. Wait, that might help. Yeah, actually. Well, first thing first, we gotta get back over there. Okay. I was one. I didn't know if I could still spin. Hurry. Beep. Really? Wow. <laughs> he respawns at least. I'll give it a few more tries. Uh, we're almost at 100 seconds, so. There we go. Okay. Okay. Alright. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll worry about finishing the stage first and I'll finish whatever I was talking about. Oh, this fight. Yeah, he goes into a giant clown car now. <laughs> yeah, boy. Okay. You gotta be quick about this. So you gotta, like, ground pound this up at him. Yeah. There you go. Oh, look, he's growing up. <laughs> Can blow up fire now. Even. Yeah. New Mario 1. Mm. Oh, could you do a Mario 1 too? Or like New Mario? Ow. I, I think so. Mm. Oh, come on. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Only so many seconds. I f if he doesn't do this for 10 years, we should be fine. Drop the bomb, please. Yeah. That's a, a big Hmm. Look out. No, oh, okay, I was. Yeah. Well, we're gonna collect that bomb again, and that, that coin again. Whatever. We have a power Um, I guess the last thing goes. Oh, yeah, I think I also for another part problem with the that video. What? Um, it was, um, oh. maybe when you respawn, it was when you respawn, it was like, um, usually they have, like, blocks, right? Sure I am! 
Oh, uh, did they have blocks? Like, right outside the thing for you? Yeah. You kind of are in it. Oh, so the, the thing that, like, kind of nullifies the items? Yeah, a little bit pointless. A little bit, yeah. Guys, if you have one to start, start it up. Um. But I would say, like, one of the, you know, one thing I will say is that Having different art styles can go a really long way to making games feel different. Um, oh god. So I feel like... I feel like if all the games looked a lot more different in just general art style and every everything... Um, oh, come on. I feel like the games would... Uh, on a surface level be a lot more well regarded. Yeah. Okay, seriously, can that Mecha Koopa, Koopa come back? Spawning? He's not respawning. But you can't get him back. We can clear it all now so we, so we don't have to worry about Luigi. Ay, 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 that sucked. I guess if you throw him off the edge, it, he just comes back. I, gu I guess... Yeah, he's just... he just... Free. I guess. Imagine this level would been better off just jumping into a kid instead of fighting him and having to go through level all over again. Uh... Well, at least it'll save the... So he doesn't have to go to that second one again. Yeah. So that second one's in a kind of a rough spot. Uh. To some degree, I think he's better off doing this now. Yeah. So, uh, we've, um. I don't know, we've kind of talked a lot about. Problems. Oh. Uh, I don't. Okay. I am. Um, hmm. We don't hate this game. We promise. Yeah, I was gonna say. Um, I just. Uh, I just say this. Uh, what? What do you like about Mario? We specifically, Scrappy. Just try and just try and bring this back to a better note. Finally fulfilled. Oh, hi, Peach. Yeah. <laughs> shit! Oh shit! <laughs> Here we go again. Go again. Yeah. What? Now if this is New Super Mario. I had to change my outfit. <laughs> now if this is New Super Mario Bros. DS, we'd have like five more castles. I wouldn't go Game Boy Advance because I don't have Giga yet. Yeah, we're not doing that just yet. Anyways. Anyways, what are you, what are you saying about Mario Way, Scrappy? Ah, uh, yes, so... I mean, I appreciate it just for simple... It was... I, we had never had true simultaneous co-op in a Mario platformer before. Mm -hmm. The co-star Luma in Galaxy 1 side. It wasn't even a co-star Luma, it was just a pointer. <laughs> like, this was something that I had read up on the Mario Wiki, how they tried to implement more co-op into other games and had to scrap it, and yeah. I was just so disappointed. The game came out of nowhere, and, you know, I was a middle schooler back then, so I appreciated it. Mm -hmm. It was nice seeing the Koopalings again after like 18 years of absence in the mainline games. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And it was cool seeing them working with Bowser Jr. and Kamek. Like, if not new, there was at least old stuff that hadn't been seen in a while. 
That's true. This game would probably be fondly, more fondly remembered if two sequels had followed in the same three. <laughs> yeah. And if most people consider a new Mario Wii. New Wii and a knees. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, 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 it doesn't, it doesn't help that, like, two games came out, like, really close between each other, and uh, we got Luigi U not far after that, um, so, like, by that point, No, uh, I know what I'm doing! <laughs> like, by that point, it became, it just general fatigue, because it's like, we had too much at once, I, th I think. Stand by that new Mario U should have been pushed back to like just month. So we use launch lamp a bit more breathing space. Yeah, that that was not a good um, starting point for the Wii U. I think. Like, I like I really like the game, but I feel like uh, I feel I feel like 3D World should probably should have held priority for them, and they probably they should have. Release that first and then Mario U, but I think 3D World was ready. I mean, probably not, but oh, um, but I don't know. I, f I don't, I don't think, jeez, I don't think a another new Super Mario Bros. game uh, was probably a good idea for. A launch Wii U title. Like it, was, it probably sounded like a good idea on paper to them because the Wii game did so well, but. I don't blame them. They wanted to have a Mario game, a Mario platformer at launch for the first time in like 16 years, and True. a 2D game was the fastest way to get to it, but yeah, the yeah. Wii U just was cursed. Yeah. <laughs> How. Yeah. But... This stock on is cursed. Maybe we can try getting it from this side. That's true, I can try and hurry. <laughs> and you, you guys continue while I do this bullcrap. Yeah. This is good gameplay. Are you guys still there? Oh, okay. Came back. Um. How long were you? Uh, you had literally. <laughs> you haven't missed anything, so don't worry. Uh, what were you last uh, talking about? There we go. 
the four yes. cards are going to go well down quickly. Alright. Okay, so, uh... The last thing I, was, I remember were, was, uh... I'm you... starting to... Uh, we, uh, the last thing I remember was talking about how Mario U and 2 came out too soon to each other. Yeah, just... It would have eventually... It would have kind of... My uh, suggestion of delaying new Mario U to 2013 would have kind of bit Nintendo in the ass anyways, because 3D World was still supposed to come out that year, but... Mm -hmm. It would have been... At least space out the 2D Mario's a bit more, give... New Mario 2 on 3D has a bit more breathing room. Give the actual, give the other Wii U Lost Channel some breathing room. Yeah. And considering how Ubisoft screwed Nintendo over by delaying Rayman Legends, having New Mario U out in like February or May might have helped them. That would have been, yeah, that would have worked quite a bit better. Because like, those. Was... This, this is armchair analysis. Analysis. Yeah. This, for me, like this when I have years of hindsight. Yeah, because they, they didn't have any knowledge of how things were going to go at the time. I mean, we don't know how the Switch is going to end up by, like, uh, the end of, what, like, next year or whatever, but... Detroit Prime Trilogy yeah. HD will still not be out. Oh, God. I really want that to be a thing, though. That would be really cool. 